Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron. This is Mario, the man you see on the screen here. Do you think that he is going to make it to the bottom of the water? Let's watch and find out. He's kind of swimming around aimlessly. Kind of wants the coin, walks away from the coin. Will he proceed in his next venture? Stick around and find out. We'll see. Oh, my game is freezing. Nah, just kidding. We're fine. I'm running this on an emulator. The computer's not super powerful. It's streaming. It's emulating at the same time. It's dealing with the frivolity of my whole... everything here. It just, just happens, you know? Where did we leave off last time? My goodness, we were in the basement. We were in the Hazy Maze Cave. Did we get all the stars in the Hazy Maze Cave? I'm not exactly sure. We're about halfway through this game so far. Um, my my goal is to be able to get all 120 stars and see how long it takes me. Been watching a lot of speedruns, still kind of am. Um, and just the idea of seeing how fast it'll take me to get all 120 stars is a, it's just a tempting thing to think about. Ba bomb has gone. Done, Izo. Castle Secret Star is we got a few so far. Shifting Sand's good. Uh, I'm going the opposite direction. Lethal? Hazy? Good? Big Boo? Cool, cool? Jolly? Jolly? Jolly good then. Well, I think I think it's time for the direst of docks. Is what I'm what I'm inclined to think there. I for some reason thought that dire dire docks was like earlier in the process, which I guess you could do if you want to, but I don't I don't remember doing so. Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. What? Get him! Get in there. I remember basically nothing about this level. Board Bowser sub. Way sandwich. For those interesting, uh, for those interested in what I may be uh, imbibing this evening, I just realized the other day, looking through some research for uh, a an upcoming cocktail stream of ours. Oh, th don't, just don't. Get away from me. Is that uh, evidently you can make Negronis out of pretty much any spirit, including but not limited to mezcal. So I made myself a mezcal Negroni. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's got that bitterness that a Negroni has, and I'm a fan of. It's got that little little bit of the smokiness from the mezcal that I've got. It's a Del Magüe Vida mezcal, and I'm a I'm a fan. I'm a large industrial fan of Negronis, especially when mixed well. I don't know if I mixed mine too well, but. I'm enjoying it nonetheless. Go get him, Mario. Man, this game is suffering over here. My goodness. Um, trying to think why it's running any slower than it did last time. It's fine. At least the music sounds wonderful. I feel like my whole thing, when I'm playing, or when I'm like watching somebody stream or whatever, and even if the video is choppy, which can often be the case, especially if you're working with like limited hardware and stuff, so long as the audio is fine, I'm not really complaining. Personally, personally, I understand that there may be many out there who feel completely differently, and that's understandable. Likely so. Um, but if you came here for top quality, like super, 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 super Mario's in the highest of FPS's and HD qualities, uh, you came to the wrong place. Cause, not, nah, I'm not doing that. I want the original, the original, original. And now I've boarded Bowser's sub. Give me the star. This doesn't look like a Subway sandwich at all! So I tell myself. And so, we went. Here we go, there we went. All right, I boarded the sub. Continue, can do one. I'm not going into that world just yet. Not until I conquer the direst of dire docks. Chests in the current. Current, chest. The current chest is uh, my torso. Or, or these ones. These are probably a more compelling chest than that. I don't remember what the order of these things are. Is it this one? Is it this one? Are you kidding me? Hello? Hello? Can I open chest, please? Ch chest open? No! Oh, no, don't do it, Mario, please! Okay, well, maybe it's just not that chest, you know? Maybe it's just not that one. Give me some of that. Give me some of that good, good. Chest? Chest? Must I instead approach the front of the chest? Oh my god. Mario, please. Just look at the damn chest. Go for it. Touch the chest. Okay, that's incorrect then. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Well, it's definitely not that one. I just, I feel it in my bones. I sometimes think to myself, have I watched enough speedruns to know what the hell's going on? The answer's no. Okay, it's not that one either. <laughs> Evidently. Oh, it must be. It must be this one. It 
must be this one. Is it not? It must be this one. I will touch it gently. There we go. Give me the bubble. Bubble. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Fire burn. And um, underwater sea layer bubble. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubble, bubble, butt. Or so they say. When, they, when somebody says bubble butt, what the heck does that even mean? I honestly don't know when somebody describes somebody else as having a bubble butt. Now that I think about it, I really don't know what they mean. I don't know what a bubble butt is. I think there was like a Spongebob reference. Bubble something or other. Bubble please. But that's about all I know. And I think in that case, if it was indeed a Spongebob reference, there was actually bubbles in his trousers. I don't know. I don't have a very good comparison on these things. All right, no, 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 no. To the chest, please. Okay, turn around. Turn around. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, where to star at? There we go. This worked out well. I just gotta grab the star. That's beautiful. Man, we're off to a great start here. Not really struggling with anything at all. That's great. Now, if only I knew how to do the backwards long jump. I tried to figure it out after I streamed this game last time, and I spent like a good solid like half hour trying to do a backwards long jump, and I just, I couldn't do it. I found the stairs, I found the, what, what was the, oh, I don't remember what the mission was. Pole jumping for red coins. Pole dancing for red coins. I'd jump poles for red coins. I'd dance on poles for red coins. To be perfectly honest, what kind of anodizing do you have to do to a quarter or a nickel to make it red? I want to see that. I've seen like blue metals before. The like cool little rainbow like titanium coated stuff. That's pretty awesome. But I don't think like I've seen a red coin. I want eight red nickels. Then I would have 40 cents worth of red nickels. Red money. Legal tender, probably. I don't know. If I walked up to somebody and tried to... Well, I guess if I tried to deposit it into, like, a vending machine, it would still pass just fine. Mario, you are struggling here. We're struggling with the sub here. I've heard, as I've watched different speedruns and stuff, that there's things called lag reductions. I have no idea what that concept is, to be perfectly honest. So if somebody out there knows what a lag reduction is and is willing to explain it to me... I'll sing you a song. On my kazoo. Because I just remembered I have a kazoo. And damn, if... If I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it. Okay. Okay, so there's coins over here. I see that. Are there more? Sub. Sub, 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 sub. The main question... How do you get coins? They're all over here. Okay, okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna try to do this as best way as possible. I'm supposed to be jumping on poles, but like, I don't see any poles. Oh, these are the poles. Those red cages must be poles. Okay. Where are you, bud? Hello? I see you. I see you there. Hello there, red coin. Hello, little stylus. Hello, Mario. Oh, yes! Back in the water! That is okay. As we can clearly see, the opening down there hasn't opened up yet. The real question here is, how long is it going to take me to collect all eight coins? I don't know. Oh, what's this sign say? All right, or you can run straight into it, you silly, silly plumber. Uh, sometimes, if you pass a, through a coin ring or find a secret point in a course, a red number will appear. If you trigger five red numbers, a secret star will show up. Wow. Wahoo! It's them secrets, my guy. It's them secrets. And I believe this one is... It's the rings. It's the rings in the bottom. It pretty much gave you the hint there. Okay, get it? Get it? Yeah, Mario. Let's just make sure I have all these coins accounted for. I see one, two, three. I have four. Five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's, that's what it's all about. That is what it's all about. I think if I get up there, I'll have an easier time getting to the other ones. Although, I'm honestly not so sure. I'm trying to think of the best angle to do this at. I don't even know. How does one get good? 
No! Oh, goodness! I was not able to get good at all. That was not very good. Oh, maybe I can just, like... Consider for a moment. I see... A large cage up above me. Doesn't look like anyone can wall jump to get up there. Do you happen to have any idea of how I'm supposed to get up there, sir? Okay. What a hothead. What a hothead. Maybe I just use these walls. Nope. Okay. Okay. Come on. You got, you got it, Mario. Come on. You, you got it. You, you just, just use your body. Use your body. Use your body. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. It worked so perfectly. I was not expecting that to work out as well as it did. Now, the question done remain. Does Bruno Mars? No! Oh god. That's fine. We give it our best shot. Can I do it over here, though? Oh, uh, no, please. Oh, it's hot. It was for a brief moment. So, like, on my way to work today, it was kind of raining, and I packed extra pants, and I had this change into them at work, and they happened to be pink plaid pajama pants, which was the topic of conversation at least three times. Um, and I packed them, not realizing that, like, I was going to get wet on the way into work, so I wore my nice pants on the way into work and then changed into the pink plaid pants when I got to work. Um, and it, it makes me think, like it reminds me a lot of Mario's position here, where his entire body is completely soaked from the water that he jumps into to soothe his bottom. And I wonder, how does he continue knowing that he is so freaking wet? Cause like, I couldn't even deal with the fact that my tuchus was wet today. I, I couldn't stand it, which is why I packed the extra pants. Mario, please, Mario, please. <gasps> yes, Mario, no. No. You got it. You got it, bud. I believe in you. Nope. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Nope. Why do you do this to me? Jump off the wall and jump? Nope. Okay. Oh my god, Mario. Oh my god, Mario. Out of context, what the heck does this sound like? Oh dear. It worked so well the first time. I shan't screw it up this time. Yeah. Nope, okay. Or I will. Oh my god! Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Okay. I just don't know what else to say when it doesn't work like that. Oh, Mario, thank you so much! Um. Maybe I do the yeah, wah, wahoo. The three jump. Oh my god! It worked so well for one of them. That was okay. That was pretty good. Honestly, I'd call it a win. Are there red coins in the clams? Are there red coins in the clams? Red coins in the clams? Red coins in the clams? Are there red coins in the clams? Hello? That's, there's no red coin in that clam. There's no red coin in that clam either. I feel absolutely bamboozled. Where could that clam be? Because I feel like I counted only seven coins up there. Is there perhaps one in these coral? No. Are there more clams? No. I'll just, treat, I'll just keep on fumbling over the ones up there. Because I feel like that's going to take up the bulk of my time. Oh my god, the fact that I have to get 100 coins here. Maybe I should like... I should definitely collect other coins. And then once I do, try to collect all 100 so that I never have to do it again. It's a good idea. There you go, you get you get him, buddy. Maybe there's a better way up here. Oh wait, wait, actually, I just noticed. Surface? Surface. Oh goodness gracious! No, you got it! Oh my god, you did get it. But where do I go from here? Huh. This does not put me at a better point than it did previously. Um When in doubt? Skirt. Can I Yahoo onto that platform? Mario, please. Lakitu, please. No. No, no. No, 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 no. Can I Yahoo up there? Yahoo! Oh my goodness gracious, it totally worked. Why didn't I think of this earlier? <laughs> Yahoo! Oh my god, yes! That's five, dude. Nice. Who's doing great out there? Mario is. Yes, he is. Get him! Oh, that would have been so smooth. What if I... Yes! No! That's okay. I will try this again. 
I will try that again. That seemed to be the right way to go. Actually, can I just get up on... Can I get up here? Okay. Okay. And now that I'm here... Oh, no! That didn't work out at all. That didn't work out all the way that I thought it would. Get him! Get him! Okay. New strategy. Jump up onto sub. Jump up onto sub. Um, get yelled at by subway workers. Proceed to steal sandwich. Profit? No, please, why are you jumping backwards? No, Mario! You got it. You, I, I believe in you. I believe in you. I want to believe. I want to believe! Mario, I want to believe! I want to believe! Okay, well, at least I remembered how to dive. Because, to be honest, I completely forgot how to do that earlier. There we go. I forgot how to do that. I don't know what I'm doing over here. Power? Oh, smooth? Smooth! Smooth! Very smooth. Now, using that same technique that I just retaught myself how to do... No! Oh, I jumped off of the boat! Oh! Bowser! Power stars! Give me the strength! Them power stars must give me the strength to move on. It'd be really cool if I could, like, do the bounce! No, okay. No bounce. No bounce this time. Smooth? Smooth. Very smooth. Very smooth. Can it be smoother? Oh my goodness. Well, at least a piece of that was smooth. I'd like to think so. And if it can't, you can't be smooth all the time. Sometimes you gotta be dirty. You gotta be rough. You know? Excuse me. Oh my god. It's that Mezcal Negroni. It's good stuff. It's a very nice cocktail. Okay, can we do this again? Perhaps with more distance than we did previously. Next time on Mario and Sons. No! Oh god! No! I did the ground pound when I should have done the dive forward. That's fine. We'll get it next time. It's all in these trying scenarios where you're pit up against your own inabilities. It's all about confidence. It's all about motivation, yeah. determination, trying over and over again. It's basically a concept of insanity, but we just won't cover that this time. It's not insanity. It's only insanity if you do it over and over again, expecting shit to change. However, I am definitely not expecting this to change. Not at all. I have no hope for this. So it's not insanity. There is no hope. How is best to get up there? Should I be doing the jive jump? Oh, I should probably be doing the... The, um... I don't even know what you call it. The thing I did before to get onto the platforms. This thing. The Yahoo jump. I should have been doing the Yahoo jump. Is there a name for it? Probably. Oh, no! Oh, my God! That was great. What an excellent recover there. Nice job, Cameron. Um... Now, that seems to be higher up than the other one. No, it is totally possible. It's totally possible. Totally possible! Oh, my God! Da, 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 da. In trying times like this, I like to remember that background music is a thing. It's very, very pleasant. Oftentimes, when I'm feeling the stressy, I just listen to the background music. Take a little bit of a vibe check. Vibe check. It's really hard to vi vibe check when you're just clapping like that. Oh my god, you got- No, you don't. It's just too far away. It's just too far away. What if I get to one of the plat- No, that is way, way too far away. There's no way. There's no way. What if- Could I get onto it from here? Let's use Mario View. Mario View? Mario View? How do I do Mario View? Mario View? Air is Mario View. No, Mario, not in the water. Oh my goodness. Well, that's a thing. Can I just, like, jump up on the wall? Is that a thing? I don't want Mario View anymore. Get, get it out of here. No. Maybe, maybe? Nah, it's not, it's not a thing. It's not a thing. There must be a way, they say. There must be a way. I feel like I'm getting, like, like, flashbacks to my childhood attempting to get 100 coins in this level and failing. But technically, I haven't failed. I haven't died yet. It's just taking a while. This could very well be the entire stream this evening. It very well could be. And if that is the case, then you know what? Content? Content? 
Oh my god. Maybe I should just sort of pick up a little speed, get some distance, and just jump. Trust the jump. Just trust the jump. T T J. T T J. T T J. I'm gonna T T J this time. Yeah. Means trusting the jump. That's what it means. Trust the jump. Oh fuck. I trust it. The jump. Wait, what is the? Oh, Lord. What is this? What is this? Oh my goodness! I didn't know that was a thing. Huh? Would you look at that? Something to make things easier for dumbasses like me. Do I utilize it? No. As we've already established. Bit of a dumbass. No. Bit of a dumbass. Sometimes. I was just recollecting today while I was at the office that I am just indeed a bit dense this time. Often can be experienced while talking to me is somebody will ask me a question. I will begin a tangent, forget what the original question is, and then answer a different question entirely. To which case we have to dial back to the beginning and re-ask the question. Or I have to realize that I definitely missed the question and be like, I'm sorry, did I? <laughs> did I answer your question? To which the answer is probably no. Or sometimes yes. I thought I was smart in college, but as I've gotten out of college and started working and stuff, I realized that the smart smartness is subjective. <laughs> and it is. Oh no! I was gonna TTJ, but I wasn't allowed to TTJ. It's all about the TTJ. Ooh, I need to get that triple jump in there. I feel that this could have... This could work. Feel. Get, get on the surface, Mario, please! Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 oh wait, you know what? I just noticed I can go through those grates if I have the vanish cap, right? Maybe that's... Maybe that's the deal. Oh my god, he jumped right off the edge. Why? Well, I gotta get up there if I'm to get to the other red coin. It must be done. It just must be done. If I plan things out methodically, does it seem like I can get from that platform to the other platform? You know what? It actually, you know, perhaps, perchance, I just trust the platform. Do I TTJ or TTP? Trust the jump or trust the platform? I'm gonna try trusting the platform because the jump's doing me dirty. Okay, okay. Now that this has been established, now that this has been established. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. TTP? Trust the platform? Maybe? It was not right. I was not able to trust the platform, nor the jump that I used off the platform. If you trust the jump and the platform, that's a TTJ and P. That's a TTJ and TP. Trusting the jump of the platform is a TTJ. TTJ. ATP. TTJ. ATP. Oh my god. Doing me dirty, Mario. Perhaps, perhaps, I shouldn't be jumping at an angle. The maximum distance that I can fly would occur if I jump off perpendicular to the side of the sub. So if I jump off perpendicular to the side of the sub, at optimal velocity, with triple jump powers engaged, I might be able to make it. Let's plan this out, shall we? Preparing for the jump. Preparing perpendicularity. Nope, Mario. Mario. Hello, Mario. Preparing perpendicularity, or as close as we can get to perpendicularity. Adjusting camera as best as we can. Preparing for triple jump. Trusting the jump. TTJ. One, two. Oh god! That was not very good execution on my part. Trusting the jump is very, very easy if you can actually do the jump. But in order to do the jump, in order to trust the jump, you have to perform the jump. That's the PTJ. Performing the jump. 
Trusting the jump must come after performing the jump. TTJ must always come after PTJ. Unless something caused you to jump inadvertently. In which case, that was a, um, um, a not, an, um, an N-O-P-J. That's a not on purpose jump. All right, Mario, prepare. No, 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 I need better, better velo- better velo- No! That was the wrong velocity! It's okay. Clams, clams, clams. Every single- when I was a boy, when I was a boy, still am a boy, I thought that the sound of these things was reminiscent of clams. Wait, I think I just noticed something. Hold up, hold up, hold up. If I can use the Vanish Cap to get up there, can I get up there? I think I can. Oh, oh, okay, hold up a second. New philosophy. Utilize, trust the Vanish, then the, <laughs> perform the jump, then trust the jump. Perform the Vanish, PTV, perform the jump, PTJ, perform the jump, Perform the vanish. PTV, PTJ, TTJ. Okay, yeah, I just have to GTV. I gotta get the vanish. Get the vanish. Oh, yes. Get up there. Oh my god, no, Mario. Ah! Why are you in the water, dude? Don't be in the water. Na, 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 na. We're just gonna get another, get another V. Gotta pump another V. Hold up one sec. Let me pump this V. Pump the V. Everybody pump the V with me. Pump that V. And now that the V be pumping, press the switch. That's PT and the S. Okay. Trust me to vanish. TTV. Trust the vanish. Trust the vanish. Don't get the star. <gasps> oh my god! Well. I feel like that was close. I feel like that was a very, very close. Much, much closer than I've gotten in the past. So, we will try that again. Oh, come on, you got it, Mario. Go around, around. The perpendicularity is key. Perpendicularity? Perpendicularity! Oh my god! Well, getting closer, maybe. I don't know if I'm actually getting closer. But I sure feel like I'm getting closer. I'm putting my faith in the Vanish, aka PTV. PTing the V. Well, that's performing the Vanish, actually. I'm getting that wrong. TTV. T Teeing. Teeing TV. Trusting the Vanish. Maybe I need this angle. Oh my god. Tru no! Oh. Some would say there must be an easier way. I know not what that way is. What if I get on top of the cage because I done did the vanish? Can I hang behind this thing and exist on the inside? Hold up a second. Here's an idea. If I allow myself to stay inside the cage, can I jump up the walls? Now I'm inside. Oh! Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I thought that was going to work out a little bit better. I was incorrect. Get him. Well, not exactly what I had in mind. Not exactly what I had in mind. All right, Mario. Optimal position for jumpage. Optimal position for jumpage. Optimal. 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 Trust it. Trust it. No, Mario, you were supposed to trust it. Trust it. Trust it. Trust it, Mario. Ah! I just ain't clicking the buttons, bro. Just not cut out to be a speedrunner, guys. Just not cut out to be a speedrunner. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 
Who? Yeah, what? Who? Come here, V. Pump my veins with that V! This could very well be a reference to the boys. One of the boys being Mario himself. Who pumps that V like nobody's business. <gasps> my god, it could, ha it could not happen because I completely screwed it up. I feel like it's getting closer, though. Pump in the V. You know, the blue, the vanish box is blue. Just like Compound V in the boys. Coincidence? Maybe. Probably. Although I don't want to believe that that's the case. Oh, goodness, please. Oh, Mario. Oh, Mario. <gasps> Perpendicular! Oh my god! I can't jump onto the walls, otherwise that'd be too easy. It said pole jumping. Pole jumping for red coins. I don't see anything about jumping between poles here. That's what it says, right? Pole jumping for red coins. See nothing about poles here. I don't see any poles at all. Where the poles at? I don't see poles. If there were poles, I'd surely be dancing on them. But there are no poles present. There are none. Hashtag, where the poles at? Or, where the poles at? Where the poles at? Yeah, whoa, that's what I'm talking about, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa there, pal. Hashtag, TTJ. Trust the jump. If you can PTJ, perform the jump, you can trust the jump. But first you must perform the jump. In order to perform the jump, oh, you must not do the fall. Do not DTF. Don't do the fall. Y'all DTF? That means down to fuck. Wait, I just noticed. I just saw another set of blocks. Could these be the blocks that saved my life? Pump that V. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Proceeds to fall back in his chair comedy comedically. Wait a minute, can I? Can I? Can I grab onto the chains above me? Wait a minute. This could change everything. No, Mario, why? Sorry. She must be from Dirty Ducks. <laughs> Pump that V, that's what I'm saying. She must be from Dirty Ducks. She must be from Dire Dire Docs. Oh my god. Also, yay, one month from a new party hat. Dude, more than also sticking around for five months. Can you believe it? I cannot. Putting out a crown. What was that sound you just made? I don't know how to make up the noise people thing. Let it be known that my fiance is raspberrying you off camera. Am here for Mario and for cocktails. That's what it's all about. It's all about Mario and cocktails. Mario's gonna get it. Mario's gonna crown. That's because of you more than awesome. That goes out to you. I'm a tiger. Does that mean Mario's a king? Mm -hmm. Bitch, Mario's always been the king. All right. And if you've ever questioned this, you gotta get out of this house. You gotta get out of this castle. Your princess is another castle, princess. I would love to be a gender-bent Mario in a ball gown. Actually, no, not even gender-bent. I'm still gonna wear a mustache. Yes. <laughs> it's cross-dressing Mario. I would love to dress up as cross-dressing Mario. That'd be great. Yeah. It's me, Mario. <laughs> Do you pump a that V? I pump a that V all the time. And the V, it stands for Vogue. Like the magazine. No, Mario, why? Sub goal idea, unlocked Princess Mario. Princess Mario? Oh, it's gonna happen. I would never incentivize stuff like that. It's gonna happen anyways. Why would I need to extort the people? Anna, I can't hear you when I have headphones on blasting the Mario. What'd you say? It's on a list. It's on a list. It's on a list. It's just a lower priority, which is why Anna, Disney Queen, is expecting extortion from the people out there. If you drop five gift subs right now, they will get top priority, Princess Mario. Anna is saying no, but I'm the one who makes the decisions around here. I am the captain now. Why did you fail, Mario? Sorry, I was yelling. 
didn't need to do that. <laughs> Sub goal unlocked! We got five gifted subs out there because of More Than Awesome. I have promised things that I have no control over. But you have my most heartfelt gratitude. Fartfelt gratitude? Heartfelt gratitude. Bro. Just for that, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep doing this thing. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kazoo sing until I get one of these red coins. I love that idea. Can I do that with a kazoo in my mouth? Disney Queen thanks you. Cameron and I are Twitter buddies and talk about nerd work stuff sometimes. Dude, we do. Oh, I got a special thing. Dude, we totally do. Dude. When is that conference that you're going to again? That's like in a month or so, right? Twitter buddies, conference buddies. We chat all the time, basically. I see more than awesome posts. I like them. More than awesome retweets everything I ever post. Maybe. 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 Don't feel any pressure to act upon that statement. <laughs> April. Oh, it's in April. We got a little bit while longer. We got plenty of time to prep for things. Oh my gosh. I basically convinced uh, More Than Awesome's boss to send the entire team to Vegas. Yo, it's also in Vegas? I think it's the Co-Co-App conference? And it's in Vegas? Dude. Between you and me, I lost $400 gambling in Vegas. <laughs> Koopa. Oh my god. My coworker taught me how to play craps, and so I specifically took $300 hoping to lose it. And I did. Successfully so. Um, and then I went back another day, and, um, well, I lost 100 more. I was up five thousand dollars, dude. Kudos. Were you playing craps? Craps was amazing, dude. That game of craps, right before my flight, went on forever. This one girl was rolling as the shooter for a solid hour. It was awesome. I had run out of money at that point, so I could not continue. Yippee! Damn it. Play a lot of pow gow and three card poker. That's how craps works. When you're hot, you're hot. Oh damn. When you're hot, you're hot. Oh no! Mario, what are you doing? Mario? Don't do that. Yeah, no, no, that, that girl! That chick was hot! Hot on the table. I don't remember what it was she was look, what she looked like. I don't remember who she was hot physically. I'm sure she was, on the inside. You don't know if that was the correct answer, you say? Anna, I am open with you about how attractive I find other people. <laughs> so, Pi, Pi, whoa. Pa, pa, ga, pa gal in like November had a four and a half million dollar progressive. So more than awesome was chasing. What is what is pie gal? Oh my god. Oh it's a, oh it's supposed to be a mustache. It's a me, Cameron. That's what I was trying to do and I lost a piece of my twist there. Oh shit! Ow! <laughs> Let it be known. I just flipped my chair over. And I completely wedged my on my wrist in between the chair and the desk. And now I'm in pain. <laughs> no, I don't need a nice pack. I don't I don't need a nice pack. I just need this floor twizzler. Pi gal, you get like seven cards and make a five card hand, two card hand, and you win if you beat the dealer on both. Ooh. And you play it all face up. That sounds interesting. Pi gal, we wrote that down somewhere. I hope I'm not like completely obliterating that pronunciation. And if I am, somebody stop me. Some would say if this were a game of craps, I'm hot. Hot shit that is. I haven't been able to get a single red coin. I'm specifically trying to go for one. 
How am I gonna do it? At this rate, I'll never get 120 stars. But we will. We will keep trying. We will keep on trying. We will just keep on trying. As much as we possibly can. Honestly, I feel completely reinvigorated. We're like 45 minutes in, and I was on a really good roll at first. I collected two stars in like five minutes. It was great. Great rate for myself. And now, I'm struggling. But it's okay. I wouldn't be the first person to create a lexicon about my struggles. I would not be the first person. And I'm actually not going to do that, because I really don't want to be like the person who did it first before me. What a nasty guy. Mario! Ooh, just get it. Just get it. Get it. Mario, I believe in you. One, two, no! It's okay. The only way you learn wild speedrun stuff is just to grind the heck out of it. It's true. I was- I tried for like a good 40 minutes after the last time I played this game to try to figure out the backwards long jump, and I just- I couldn't do it. I could not do it. I tried very, very different. I've tried very hard to. That's the thing, like, I feel like it's kind of like- It's kind of like driving. Or, like, with programming in the sense that, like, once you've done it once or done it a couple times, like, just just keep doing it. Just do it again. Refactor it. Re redo it. Just, like, muscle memory it. Um, but I have yet to do it once, so. What is the way? Show me the way. Don't actually show me the way. Or maybe do show me the way. Oh, I need... Mm! No, it was so damn close! I should not be getting so loud on stream. Just kidding. I have a limiter on my microphone. I could be as loud as I damn well want to. It's just like programming. This is just like programming. Try to learn on your own, and then just watch someone do it on Stack Overflow. Yes, exactly. If only Stack Overflow had videos. Although, to be perfectly honest, I can't copy and paste a video. But I sure as hell can copy and paste the hell out of Stack Overflow. Holla at my fellow programmers. <laughs> Hello, fellow programmers. <laughs> I say pretending to be one of you. No, I'm not pretending. I actually do program. I was on a hot streak of programming today, and then I hit a brick wall. And then switched work tasks. Realized where I was not getting anywhere with this. Programming is different when you have to work with hardware that you can't reprogram. No, Mario. 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 I've got an amazing Luigi impression. One day, I'm streaming Luigi's Mansion. Yet another one of the iconic games from my childhood. My younger brother and I would literally just hang in the training room of the of the beginning of Luigi's Mansion for hours, beating up the millions and millions of ghosts if we would have continued. Specifically because we didn't realize we were supposed to hit them with the flashlight and then suck them up. Oh no! Wait a minute. What if I... Hold up a second. I just had an idea. Can I dive jump and then do that kick jump in the air? Can I do that? Is this possible? I'm going to practice this. One moment, please. I'm loving your positive energy. 68 plus 1, aka 69. I really appreciate that statement. And the fact that you just popped in here with a username such as that makes me very, very happy. So thank you for showing up and making your presence known. More Than Awesome says, Oh man, Luigi's Mansion feels like two generations away from More Than Awesome's iconic games. Well, I believe you were starting on like the GBAs and stuff, right? I mean, technically, or like the NES, I guess. What was it? NES, SNES, GBA, or GB, GBA, lo and behold. Oh, so 69 walks into a bar. And between you and I, they are most certainly welcome. Thanks for following. You get a party hat. That's what the energy is all about. And now that it's wrapped around my headphones, it's not coming off. I'd say thank you. You're welcome. I mean, I'm like 41. Now, you know what? We're, we can all be young at heart. I would say, mentally speaking, I'm in my 40s. I felt a little while ago I was having a quarter-life crisis, which I was trying to convince myself wasn't a thing, but according to the internet, it's a thing. So, I'm done with that. More than awesome. Oh my god. You just keep on doing this. <laughs> More than awesome supports the subscription endeavors of 69. By the way, uh, 68 plus 1, aka potentially 69, if 69 is not a proper nickname for you, please do let me know, or else it will continue. Teehee. Oh my gosh, please. Dada. 
I completely forgot what I was doing. What was I doing? What the hell was I doing? I'm trying to get red coins! That's what I was doing! I got so distracted! Oh my gosh. Oh my god. When's he gonna get that red coin? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe never. If we reach the two hour mark and I still haven't collected the star, <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. No, Mario, why? It's fine. It's okay. Hello, little Tylus. <laughs> <laughs> if any of you haven't seen like the video of of Mario for like the 3DS or something being like and something about the stylus that makes the same thing for those stylus. Hello little stylus. And then the narrator goes, "Hello Mario." <laughs> it gets me every time. I love it. It's great. I love it. That's like peak comedy right there. If only I can produce such premium quality content. One day we will. But I like to produce short videos about cocktails in my drinking cabins, so... And to be perfectly honest, that's not very meaningful, but it could be. I'm open to ideas! So we can workshop that. Oh my god, please hit the box! Thank you! Okay, change camera. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it going. One, two, three, four! Oh my god! It's fine. You got it, 69 is perfect. Thanks for letting me know about the stream, though. Your story. Oh, absolutely. I'm so happy that we are all along this journey, experiencing our story together, chapter after chapter. And like some books, this chapter is a very long... Like some books, sometimes the chapters are wildly inconsistent in length. And if every single star is a chapter... Also, I just noticed I have 68 stars. I just noticed that. I have now just realized that if I get this star... With all the struggles that I've put in for it, it will be my 69th star. And now it doesn't matter how long it's gonna take me. Two hours, three hours, four hours all night? We're gonna make it happen. Through the power of determination! It's fine. I meant your Facebook story. Oh, absolutely. Oh, there's the stream through your Facebook story. Aha! I did put that on my Facebook story this time. I did, I did. I did do that. I don't usually advertise my streams on Facebook, but every once in a while he's feeling real, real good about it. And today, I'm feeling good. At least so that I'm telling myself. Actually, no, you know what? To be perfectly honest, this is, this is a perfect stream right here. It's great, and let me show you why. It's wonderful, because I've got the beauty of the people around us right now. I currently feel like I'm expressing my internal self. I'm playing a game from my childhood that brings me this good, good feeling of nostalgia. I've got a goblet of water, just, just in case I get too drunk. And the reason I might be getting drunk is because we made a cocktail. Mezcal Negronis. Oh, delicious. Equal parts Mezcal, Campari, and sweet vermouth. <laughs> delicious. It was a good idea. It's a very good idea. I don't know. I feel... Thinking about that for a second, I sometimes feel like... Really weird, like, plugging myself on various different forms of social media. But, like, really, I shouldn't feel so bad about it. Like, to quite frankly, I don't want to annoy people. No, get it! Oh, damn. Chinar, Jin, Vermouth? Uh, mm. Is it Chinar or Kainar? I want to say Kainar, but I feel like it's Chinar. It's a great idea. I basically discovered the other day, I'm looking through... I don't have a cocktail book in my hands right now, but it's a book called Mezcal Plus Tequila Cocktails by Robert Simonson, and that's going to be the theme of this week's cocktail stream, which will happen on Wednesday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time for those in the Eastern Standard Time Zone. If you are in other time zones, you can try to ask me for, like, a translation, although to be perfectly honest, you're probably better off Googling it because I don't think that my answers are very veritable, which I think means having any sort of truth. All right, go for it. Trust the jump. Trust the jump! Trust the jump! Damn it. Yeah, but like, I sometimes feel weird about like, plugging my streams on various sorts of social media. I think of it this way. I Previously, I was like, I don't want to annoy people. I don't want to flood people's stories and stuff with this BS. However, I think of it this way. I'm now taking a different stance. I'm gonna do it anyway, because I really enjoy it. And I think it brings some good into the world. And if, if you find it annoying, then well... There's a mute story button. You could also just unfollow. If you don't like that stuff, you can just unfollow. I think of it this way. I don't take it personally. This type of content is, um... 
It's like it's like caviar. It's like like um like capers. It's an acquired taste, I would think. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna read these chats in just a hot moment after I hopefully make this absolutely killer save here. Yes! Yes! It's fine. Definitely don't feel like bad plugging. Your friends and family should be your biggest supporters. Absolutely. And you really don't do it often either. It's not like every single day. Share your joy with the people. Yeah, it's like twice a week, if that. And you're absolutely right about that. We're sharing the love with your friends and family. It's totally... Family! Family! Powers! Family energy! Family. I got family who pops on. That's true. They do. It's very, very good. And that's another thing. Actually, specifically to the point of posting to the Facebook story is the fact that... The fact that I even still have a Facebook is the fact that I know there are members of my family who I may not have talked to in a while, who may be slightly estranged, and this is a this is a way for me to reconnect with those people. Ever since I started streaming, I am very happy to say that I've been able to reconnect with a bunch of people in my life, and it's been awesome. Friends, family, the lot of it. And it's just, it's just awesome. There is literally nothing bad that happens on stream, except for the fact, except for the one time that I almost set the house on fire because I spilled a bunch of hot cocoa on the bar using my induction burner. That wasn't necessarily a good thing. If anybody's interested in that, it was called Holiday Beverages. It's on the VODs channel. Actually, it's probably still on the Twitch channel too. It was so funny. Um, I wanted to try this trick. If I'm in the air and I do that, I can do that. If I dash, Okay, but what if I- can I like do that and then do that? No, I can't. Hmm. Hmm. Could not agree more. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And I just remember too, everybody who has a sub or is currently subbed has those little party hats next to their name. While we've got people here, do we still vibe with that? Are we still vibing with the party hats? Because I was thinking about changing it up to something a little more bartender themed, but to be perfectly honest, I think they've got character. <laughs> They're not the best looking things. I designed them myself, but they got some colors to them and every every theme party hats gets a new pattern Trust the jump just the jump oh, Mario. That's okay Honestly, I don't have the bandwidth to make them any different right now anyway, so that's just how it's gonna stay. Also is my Oh my computer's not plugged in Ah, uh, My surface is not charging Please excuse me a moment. I have to go down underneath to plug in my surface because it's being a little bitch again Alrighty then. And the surface is charging, which means I will still be able to monitor chat in the most comfortable way possible that is applicable to my current situation. And I still have a piece of a Twizzler. Oh my god. I'm having a really hard time eating this Twizzler. chew with your mouth full. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's rude to talk with your mouth full. It's also rude to chew with your mouth full, I guess. You got it. Trust the jump. It's okay. I may scream. I may squeal. I may try try every single time and react the same way. But if I believe in myself enough, we will succeed. We will get the coins that lie behind the grate. And then once we do, we hope to goodness that we don't screw up the jump and I don't have to do it again. That'd be great. If I could do this only once and get it perfectly, that'd be great. That'd be wonderful. Although, it's not gonna happen unless we believe. Everybody put your hearts together. I will feel your power and we will conquer it together This will be the one with the power of our friendship combined. No, I actually ran out of time So it wasn't gonna be the one that's that's totally on me. Don't get that star if I get that star the entire run is ruined Are you still doing engineering work or are you embracing stream full swing? Nah, I'm doing my, uh, my engineering work 
It's good stuff. It's good stuff. I, uh, I work, for context, I work as a firmware engineer um, at a small startup company in Philadelphia called Stealth Life. Um, and then I stream as a hobby. It's a fun hobby. I'll be, I'll be honest though. I freaking love streaming. And if there, and this is, this is a far shot, but if, oh my gosh, if I could make my living by streaming and creating content and stuff, I would, I would, I totally would. It's just, it's so, it's so fun. It's extremely satisfying. It's like that creative outlet. I feel, generally speaking, I'm usually a pretty creative person. I did like improv, I did theater, I used to draw a lot, I still draw a lot now. I kind of fell out of it in college a little bit. But like, I kind of reattached to my creative roots a little bit. I also like to sing, do music and stuff. It's a fun time. But like, I never fully embraced the creativity. I never thought to myself that like doing like a creative career type thing is something that was in the cards. I always been kind of a smart person. I always excelled in class and stuff. So it made sense to go to college, do like some engineering stuff and whatnot. And to be perfectly honest, it's awesome. It's a great, great challenge. But you know what's like, honestly, what's even more challenging than like really crazy proofs and stuff? That sucked, honestly. Actually, I just had an idea. I don't need the vanish cap. Wait a minute, I don't need the vanish cap. If I come at it at the right angle, Ooh, I have an idea. I'm changing up my stride. But like, um, yeah, no, I just never really thought about that at the time. I was just like, I gotta go, I gotta go to school, I gotta get my degree, and I gotta do stuff. And I really like the challenging of like really tough mathematics and really complicated algorithms and stuff. So that's why I'm continuing to do that now. But like, I've realized what I really, really enjoy is a challenge. I like anything that is going to push me to the point where I learn something new and hopefully take something away with it that I can take on to the next task that's challenging. Which I think is a very engineering mindset in my opinion where you take what you learned from one problem and you reapply that knowledge, that experience that you got, and reform it in a way that's going to help you on the next problem. And to be perfectly honest, I've realized more times than not, content creating, or at least the whole stream thing, kind of feels like that. You know? There's always some new challenge that I'm trying to like figure out in my own way or the whole like I think this challenge that I'm currently I guess not even struggling with but like really really enjoying I guess is how to like grow this thing bigger make it more than just the person that you see on the screen and I've been really really consider I've been really really thinking about that in the sense of like I'm like what I really want to do is create like a, a nice community surrounding the stream and what happens on it. It doesn't, I don't want it to be all about me because that just feels very high and mighty. I, I don't personally don't think that I deserve such, such a position. However, if we can make it about the people and bring everybody on and get everybody engaged and make sure that we can promote other people as well, including like through the means of the content and what it's creating, then I think that's a really, really good thing. So I've been trying to have a habit of like doing more streams where I bring people on, try to interact more with the community and stuff, and I hope it doesn't feel like disingenuous, because like I'm really trying to get something out of it too. It's not just it's not just for me either. It's supposed to be for other people. I like I have so many interactions on here that just feel like so wholesome and stuff. And really, really good feeling. And if seeking out that good feeling for myself is selfish, but it's also helping other people in the process, then Dude, call me selfish. Whatever your reason for being a good person, like, it's a good reason, I think. Oh my goodness. Dude, uh, more than awesome, built Cordal from like five people to 250,000 people, but it was too exhausting being responsible for a community. Dude, I feel that. Also, Cordal was an amazing invention. I played it at work a lot. <laughs> Actually, my coworker, he was really, really into it. Um, More Than Awesome also says that there's a host happy with the little tech job and their Twitch affiliate because one of the emotes is a cat. That's epic. I completely, I completely forgot that you Twitch streamed. I gotta go and follow you after this. I don't know if I do already. If I don't already, that's a mistake on my part. 69 also says, I feel the same way. The shaft for five years was tough. At what point would you go full-time streaming? It would be hard to replace a software engineering salary. Would you get stuck doing both be forever because of the money of the two jobs? Well, if we if we drop in, if we drop into it, if we really dive deep into it, the thoughts that I have on that are as follows. It doesn't necessarily have to match the money because the money shouldn't be about everything. If me, it's, it's my, my fiance, Anna and I, we are both in this together. And we're all about trying to keep each other like happy and smiling and stuff. And there are some times where the, str the, the engineering stuff really pushes me to a limit. It can be stressful at times. It can be kind of weird at times in terms of like a lack of direction and stuff, but honestly streams the same way. Sometimes I feel weird about it. Sometimes I feel like there's a lack of direction, but like you're gonna get that pretty much anywhere you go, I imagine. 
I've worked, I think, five or six jobs, big or small, by this point in my life, and I've seen a thing or two. Um, but I think if it gets to a point where, let's say, streaming as a part of a gig economy that I'm currently employing, as it means the mostly just supplement income, gets to a point where it can sufficiently supplement the income of my fiance and I and the family that we plan on building in the future, then why not do it full time? I think I think it's all about what's keeping you happy. And honestly, um, engineering makes me happy. Streaming makes me happy. I don't I don't know. I feel like eventually I will come to a crossroads. Um, but if it means giving up streaming, I'm turning the other direction. I don't think I ever want to devote myself so hard to something that allows me not to be able to continue to express myself and join the community that we're building here. Like, I, I don't ever want to turn that direction. Like, and I feel like it's popped into my, it's like popped into my, like, life as like potential like opportunities and stuff in the sense that you could like work longer hours or like different jobs or potentially what may encounter in the future. But I openly state, I don't want to give up streaming. I have so much fun for it. I have so much fun with it. And purely beyond that reason, I think, I think we're doing some good. Oh my gosh. Hey man, Roguelike drops this week, so more than awesome, I just play it on stream to talk to people. Dude, do it. Do it. There should be no better re there's no better reason to stream a game aside from you want to. You want to share it with other people, even if, they, even if the other people don't show up. I believe the saying goes something like, like, Build it, and they will come, or something like that. Like, build the fun, and they'll, they'll come. It's all just, it's literally, all, the, all this streaming thing is just a numbers game, in terms of, like, how you build up, like, people, and stuff like that. It's literally just probability. Like, every single person who pops in is a roll of the dice. And I'm not attempting to say this in a way that is dehumanizing. I'm more saying it in a way to, like, kind of prop up the mentality of, like, other people who may get discouraged by it. It's all just a roll of the dice. Every single per there's a probability out there, on average, of the people who will, damn it, follow, the people who will tune in, the people who will stick around, the people who will chat. It's all just numbers, dude. It's all just numbers. And honestly, for me, just knowing that it's all numbers, except when actual interaction happens, in which case we're talking to the human, it makes me feel a lot better about it. More Than Awesome did a ton of stream uh, when his husband worked evenings, but now he works mornings, and you can see him at 5 p.m. every day. The impulse is gone. That's fair. That's very, very fair. That was before, oh, when husband worked evenings because he was out of the house, you know? Yeah. I, I will admit, like, even in my personal life, like, there is a bit of a... There's a little bit of a, a, I guess, a melancholiness about the fact that, like, when I am streaming, like, I don't necessarily, like, have the time to spend with the fiancé and stuff. And, like, it does come up. Like, you know, it comes up as being a little disappointing sometimes. Sometimes I feel like I spend way too much time on the streaming and I'm not really spending enough time with her or just together in general. That's normal. But I can completely understand, like, if it was really, really, like, monopolizing and stuff, like, especially if you were doing it, like, all the time, I understand that. There's a good balance. 69 also says, this is definitely a good creative outlet to balance with the sharpness and rigidity of EE -E and SE. Oh my goodness, yes. Absolutely. And you know what? I actually do, I do get to put a little bit of that engineering finesse into the stream. I really do. I don't, like, it, I, I program for my streams. I program the, ch there's a chat bot that lives out there for uh, channel point redemptions and stuff and commands and stuff and I, I didn't program it all myself but I used something that somebody built that has kind of a pseudo language on top of it. It's basically programming. All the tech stuff that I did, all the EE and stuff, is translating into audio visual stuff because I'm learning about more like the capabilities of the computers and stuff and how my computer runs and how I can milk the most out of the hardware that I have and how to set up camera angles and proper mic stuff and whatever. That one felt really close. I'm gonna admit that one that one felt close. I felt really close. I don't know, though. I don't know if I'll ever succeed with that method. Um, anyways, yeah. To be fair, like, and, and to be perfectly honest, the kind of cool thing, and the thing that I feel like I've lucked out with my, per my particular position in my life right now is my hobby life, let's say my stream life, and my work life blend in a, in a good way. Like, I find that there's a lot of things that I do social media-wise, stream-wise, that I can actively apply at work. And I feel that there's things that I do at work as I enhance my abilities there, which also have a place and stream. 
And I think that's kind of cool. And I think I'm kind of lucky for that. Oh, actually, would that be the way? Oh, oh, that felt like the way. As the man, as Mando would say, this is the way. I think that was the way. This may have been the way. That that uh, side going in from the side there? Maybe. How long have I been at this? It's been an hour and ten minutes. Awesome. Well, actually, technically an hour and five minutes. That five minutes of getting started in the beginning. I basically completely forgot that I had a cocktail over here. Here we go indeed, Mar- Wait, I don't know why I did this. I didn't need to do that. I did not need to do that. Unless, 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 unless. Mm, that felt really good. That felt really good. I'm gonna try that a couple more times. I'll try that a couple more times. Da -da -da. I feel like it's a kazoo time again for no particular reason. That felt really close. That's the thing. We're getting closer and closer every single time. There is indeed a buildup that is happening here. And eventually, it will come to a head. And that head will burst like a balloon. Where that head analogy ends, I'm not gonna go further in. I can only go so deep with head jokes. Anyways, we get a little suggestive sometimes. We do, we do. I guess that means that I should probably disclose. Um, if you're a child or like not an adult, um, it gets a little raunchy sometimes. Um, also, we, we produce alcoholic content, so. Oh, it would have been so good. BC Awesomest, you're not a child. Not anymore. You may be a child always in mother's eyes, but. You're a man now. Welcome. Welcome to adulthood. I assure you it gets worse. <laughs> but like it's all about it's all about mentality. It's all about mentality. If you go into your life expecting it if you go into your adulthood life thinking it's gonna be shitty, it's probably gonna be pretty shitty. But if you go into it imagining all the freedom that you'll have and the opportunities that'll present themselves to you and all the things that you could do but that you couldn't do before. That's actually pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I think this man has mold in his dorm. I do. I do. I do. And specifically in my shower. <sighs> what? I keep... Okay, so I keep bouncing off of there. I don't want to bounce off of there, though. I may have mold in this apartment. Actually, yeah, there's mold in my shower right now. It's on the drain thing, and Anna tried to clean it for like a half hour, and I was like, you spent more than a half hour on it. Chug it, and we'll buy another one. It's not worth your time. Also, that mold be looking pretty dark. I don't think we should play around with it anymore. There's just, just no need. There's just no need. That's when you just move. <laughs> I like my apartment right now. It's pretty good. That could have been really cool. That could have been cool for a moment. Is it the T? Is it the triple jump? Or is it is it the... I don't know, I'm gonna call it the butt slide jump. I really don't know what else to call it. Every good house has a little bit of black mold looking stuff in the shower. Oh, every single good house. Oh, yes. I don't recall seeing a lot of moldy substances at my parents' house, so maybe that's the notable exception. But then again, I was a child at the time, so how would I know? Um, but there was definitely mold in my freshman dorm room. There was most certainly mold 
um, in my fraternity house when I lived there. Um, there was mold, literally fungus growing in my previous apartment. Um, and there'll be mold in this one too. Just how it is. But if we try our damnedest, maybe we can get all the little moldies out. Oh my god, I think that's it. I think the triple jump. TTJ. TTJ, gotta trust the jump. Gotta trust the jump. More Than Awesome was definitely sick in their last apartment for like six months. Uh, and then asked them to change the air filter and they saw a ton of mold everywhere. I actually was afraid that there might've been mold in my air filters at the other apartment because it was literally dripping and the dripping that came from the little outlet pipe there was like kind of miscolored and kind of freaky and kind of scary. And so we did ask them to come in and check things out and they were like, nope, we don't see anything up there. But I, management of that place was not very good. And I don't trust a word that they say. So I, I had a feeling anyway. There was certainly a lot of water damage, and like, roaches that lived in the water damaged areas, and missing, like, literally unfinished wall beneath the, um, the appliances in the kitchen that would get very, very cold in the winter months. It's... I'm glad I don't live there anymore. Also, they were charging, like, way too much for too little space. I pay basically the same price here in, like, an, I think, 1,100 foot square foot apartment with two floors and plenty of space for my fiance and I that I would have if I stuck around at the old apartment because they were raising the percent. They were raising the price by 5% every single month. Like, geez, that was not worth it. And they were like, are you planning on stick around a little bit longer? I was like, no. The only reason we stayed there for two years was because um, I had started a new job at the time when the lease renewal was happening and Anna was in her finals week and really, really stressing out for her clinicals and stuff. So we were like, we're just gonna stay. There's, there's no benefit. Okay, that was actually pretty cool there. 69 found a mushroom growing out of the wall in their apartment on Palatin. Oh, goodness gracious, no way. Is it an edible mushroom? Did you try? Did you consult your local forager's handbook? Because you shouldn't. Just don't even try. You're gonna be wrong anyway. Find your local legendary mycologist, and they'll tell you what's up. And they'll probably be like, it's growing out of your floor. <laughs> Don't put that in your mouth. Although, I wonder if there are any mushrooms out there that look like Floor Twizzler. Because if there are, I might be fooled. That might be my last Floor Twizzler. All right, get him, bro. You almost had it there, you freaking plumber! All mushrooms are edible at least once. This is not, my not mycological advice. No, no, no. More than awesome. I love you. And I feel like I trust you, but like... I feel like I'm gonna have to disagree on that one. Just kidding. I know you meant that facetiously. Facetious, a word that I just learned today. Talking about a serious subject with frivolity and, and inappropriateness, potentially. A little facetious of you. I learned that word today. I might be saying it a lot until I finally get it out of my system. Or until it stops sounding like a word. Facetious, 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 facetious. Now it kind of sounds like fasciitis. And I don't know what that means. Oh my god. <laughs> true. You know, the first part of that statement is true. It's edible at least once. Everything's edible at least once. You know, there's a disorder out there called pica that will um, cause people to want to eat inedible objects. Like planes. Pieces of wood. Nails. Light bulbs. And potentially inedible mushrooms. <clears throat> or, you know, maybe the. It, you know, to be perfectly fair, just because. Just because the mushroom is toxic, don't mean that it don't taste good. Supposedly, antifreeze tastes very sweet, if not for the bittering agents that they put on the inside of it, as a means to not poison you. Which makes sense. I appreciate that. However, can't deny. Oh, it was so close! Maybe I should have just gotten the jump better. Ooh, more than awesome's got pica. They eat plastic. Ooh, when I was younger, I used to eat dirt. I used to eat the rug. I used to gnaw on the side of my bunk bed, my, my, um, my crib, because it was made of wood and the wood tasted salty. I used to... I used to lick seatbelts on the bus. I don't do that anymore. Um, but it was because it tasted salty. And it wasn't until... Many years later did I realize probably why the seatbelts were salty. 
because people were s sitting there salty, sweaty ass cracks on them. Oh, it's okay. Look at me now. I'm perfectly healthy. Mm, that felt so close. <laughs> Antifreeze is in Fireball Whiskey. It's that, um, oh, what is it? Propylene Glycol or something. I do have some Fireball Whiskey behind that bar behind me. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Excuse me for a moment. I have to, like, adjust these... I have to adjust my headphones, because they're... They're crushing my hat into my ears. There we go. Oh, ooh, that's much more comfortable now. We've been getting closer and closer every single time. Technically speaking, once we succeed, there is a progression of 0 to 100 over a course of time. If the only two points that we're measuring are not that get not that coin and then that coin, if I get that coin, eventually, it's an upward curve. Step function, kinda. But there's there's a lot of there's a lot of mathematical uh, um, goodness for the for the step function. Oh goodness. Maybe. Oh my god. Maybe. I just had a thought. What if I slide on the sub and then jump using the sub's momentum? Would that work? How far can I get with that? How far can I get? I'm gonna try that. It's all about experimentation here. Until, like, I, I'm very, I'm a very much hit your head against the wall expecting it to break kind of person, and I'll explain that in a moment. I will continue to try these metrics until somebody corrects me otherwise. Nope, that, that didn't work the way that I wanted it to. Was it going to work to begin with? That is, that is an important question. Because, like, I'm not convinced that it's easier for me to get onto that mid-platform than it is onto the other platform. But it might be, actually. Because if I can get onto the platform with the blue coins, then I can also yahoo my way to the one closer to it. Maybe that's what I gotta focus on. Maybe I just gotta go back to that one, right? Trust the jump? No, it's just kind of too far away. Is it really, is it actually far enough away? Is the surface a little bit different? Mario? 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 Please? Nope. Nope. Lord. I apparently can't, can't change the camera in water. I don't know. Is it... Is it farther away? Is it not? I don't know. There will be a resolution to this at some point. There has to be. My reputation is on the line here. I will do it. Also, I work from home tomorrow, so technically if I have to stay up all night to do this... I'm tempted. I am tempted. Might have to take a little bit of a snack break, though. Not gonna lie. If this continues at this pace, we're gonna need a snack break. We're gonna need to get some snackies up in this stream. Okay. Patience. Patience. Does that look farther away than the other one? I genuinely don't know. Do the math kit. It definitely looks farther. It most definitely looks farther. And then I consider these coins over here. I definitely need the Vanish Cap to get in here. Actually, hold up a second. Hold up a second. No. Oh, why? Just do it for sure. Yes, of course. Of course, they say. It's too far. It's definitely too far for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate that second opinion. Or rather, that 69th opinion. Appreciates that. All right, get on, just get on up there. Get on up there. Just do it. Just do what 69 say. Just do it. Mario, I know you can't hear me in there, and even if you could hear me, it'd probably sound like some garbled mess because of the whole like 8-bit, 16-bit, whatever, like transcoding and stuff that you use for your audio codec. But if you could, if it definitely sounds something like, which is my way of saying just do it. I just noticed there's a surface behind me. No, there's no point in going up there. There's, there's no point. Well, actually, is there a point? Maybe. Maybe? Oh, come on, Mario. Bro. Buddy. 
Okay, can I, like, get onto the ceiling? No. Oh, why the lag? Why the lag, Mario? Come on, Mario. Don't do that. Ah, no. Will you just... Mario. Ah, <laughs> I fell. I fell. I fell. I am projecting upon Mario. He's not the one who fell. I fell. Get that. Here we go. Here we go again. Ah, that lag, dude. That lag, man. So that's too far a jump. No, don't get the star. Do not touch that star. Do not touch that star. Wait! Oh my god, wait, what was that? Hold up a second. Wait a minute. Do you see that? Hold up. Hold up a damn second. That was cool. If I do the... If I do the one, two, three... Oh, no, 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 that makes me do the, the thing there. But if I do... No, 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 okay. If I do the one, two, three... No, I gotta figure out how to do that. No, no, no. How did I do that? I definitely just did that. I'm like pushing forward on the control stick. Oh my god, okay, wait, wait, wait. No. Is it because I have too much momentum? No. Maybe I have to be... Mm, figuring out the physics here. Okay. I'm getting that- I'm getting that down. Okay, I like that. Can we do it with the triple jump, though? Mm. Mario, if you could just for a moment... No, no, no. Cameron, if you could just for a moment... Do that triply jumpies there. Mm, I think it's only the double. I think only the double done work there. This could be game changer. Or it could just be another misinterpretation of the events that I'm witnessing. Could be. Could be. Oh, Mario, why? Get on up there, plumber boy! Do that thing you do so well. Yeah. The wahoo. Okay, okay. Do the double jump and uh, no Mario why it's okay I performed I performed the kick in the air I did it I did it that's okay that's fine that's fine all right get him get him get him get him get him get him boom 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 oh no oh. yahoo yahoo waha yeah, in the hootin' in the wah uh, uh. Yahoo, wah uh, in Pig Latin is Ahuye Ahuwe. Ahuye Ahuwe. Ahuye Ahuwe. Right? Kinda sounds Pig Latin. Kinda sounds like another dialect, too. Not sure if I should be saying it that way. Alright. Keep on trying. Keep on trying. If I'm ever to become a Super Mario 64 speedrunner, I gotta figure this out. I am not intending on doing that. I have absolutely no aspirations to become a speedrunner. However, if the situation calls for it, I will pull out those speedrun strats if I have to. LBJs? BLJs? I don't know if LBJ is a thing. Long backwards jump? No, that's not right. Get the cap. No cap, get that cap. No cap, get that get, get cap. Oh no! It would have been so good. I, I feel like if I can get this going... Well, maybe I practice without the vanish cap for a little bit. 
I don't need to use the vanish cap. Unless I want to get in the inside. Well, actually, I still... No, I don't think I need to use the vanish cap. Whoops. My mezcal Negroni is kind of watered down. It actually tastes really good, though. That's still tasting good. I think it's the Campari that's still sticking around the most of that flavor. It's a nice, nice sweetness. I don't remember where you're supposed to... I think you're supposed to strain out a Negroni before, but I put it on ice. That's not, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Mmm. Too much momentum. Too much momentum. Maybe practice on the ground a little bit more. Can I have full speed? Yes, I can. The question is... It is possible. This is most definitely possible. This is possible. I believe in the me that believes in the you that believes in the me that believes in the you that believes in the me that believes in myself. I believe it. Just do it, so they say. Shia LaBeouf, if you're out there, keep doing what you're doing. We like to see that. No! It's so fine. It's fine. I feel like I keep pushing forward on the joystick, hoping to get a little extra distance without seeing if it's going to work to begin with. I have to trust the jump. I gotta trust the jump. I feel like throughout the process of this past, like, hour, I feel like I've just kind of, like, process of elimination a bunch of different possible ways of getting there. And it might just be my skill that's holding me back. Or rather, the lack thereof. But that is okay. Because to be honest, this wouldn't feel much like, you know, watching a big brother playing a video game while you're hanging on the couch. Um, or a younger brother in the case that I had, because I don't have any big brothers. But, like, it wouldn't be that case if we didn't have some failage along the way. We all get to experience it together. Through the highs, the lows, the, the many, many moments in between. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Big Brother is here for you. I've never referred to myself as Big Brother before. I am a Big Brother. Twofold. But I've never referred to myself as such. I don't know if that's the kind of rep that I want for myself, you know? I don't like the fact that Big Brother is always watching. Not necessarily. No, you have to jump, you fucking idiots! It's okay, it's fine. It's just like old times. It's just like old times, except with mildly more cursing. And a lot more screaming. I didn't scream a lot in my parents' house, so well... I was a bit argumentative in my angsty teenage years. I would like to apologize for that angry outburst there. I don't usually let my emotions uh, take over, but this time there was immense amount of sadness. Or perhaps it was my libido. I honestly am not so sure, but it came out. And I'm sorry for my language. I kind of like the idea of having like a like a, a, a curse jar or something on stream where like people can keep track of how many times that I curse. No, I, t I totally messed it up. Oh, I'm so glad. No, no! Ah! Completely off topic. Ignore if you want. Do you know how to program multiple servos to move at the same time with an Arduino? If so, I will need your help. Multiple servos to move at the same time with an Arduino? I imagine... Couldn't you just attach them to the same signal line? If you attach the same PWM line to every single servo, would you be able to control them all at the same time? You might need a voltage booster. I feel, because if you split it up, then the voltage is going to wind up decreasing. But if you have some sort of, like, voltage amplifier... Theoretically, the answer to this question is yes. Theoretically, I have ideas. My thought would be, if you just attach the same... If, you, if your servos are, are, are controlled via pulse, which, pulse width modulation, which essentially means you just turn it off rapidly at varying rates, um, and it simulates a voltage... Um, I assume you could attach that same signal line to multiple servos and amplify the voltage if there's a voltage drop and maybe add like a like a, a like a current amplifier too to be able to make sure that each servo gets enough current um if if that's even a concern that is that would be my guess oh i missed it no like a three axis next neck for an animatronic three independent movements at once three separate pwn lines. Assuming this is PWM. 
Or I guess I guess it depends on what kind of server you're building. You could have one that functions with like PWM input lines, in which case, if you have an Arduino, you can just map each GPIO to a different PWM and control them all separately. Arduino loops run function fast enough that it'll probably look more or less the same time. Or get really deep down in the things, invest in a good microcontroller, maybe find a server that uses like a, a communication protocol, like a like a multi a multi servant communication protocol like I2C or Spy or the other one, which I can't remember. When are they making a Twitch category for electrical engineering? You can tag yourself as engineering. I know that. And you can also tag as technology. I think technology is a category. I have had... See, see, this is where I need your help. See, and I would ha be happy to help you. Um, my involvement in the project may go to the wayside because I spread myself way too thin, and I am very much open to saying that. I'm also very dense and forgetful, so I might just forget. Oh, don't you do this to me. Don't you do that to me. Yeah, feel free to reach out. I like being I like being able to help people with their projects. I understand. You're picking up what I'm putting down. And I'm putting down the voltage. That's what it's all about. Probably, maybe. I don't I don't really know. Alright, get him get him, Mario! You got it! No! That's fine. Yeah, that would be that would be my thought. I would imagine if you have a servo, um, or it's very possible there's a servo out there that has like its own like communication protocol that you just simulate on a GPIO. They probably give you the functions of the curves to simulate it, and you can just hard code it, like hard code the voltages. I imagine that is probably the easiest way to do it, but I believe there's libraries for I2C and SPY for Arduinos. Pretty sure. There must be a way. Or like somebody stack overflowed it in this code on GitHub somewhere. That's always another option. Maybe. All right, get him, Mario. No! I don't know. Do I? Mm. I keep failing every time I get up there. Maybe, maybe I get up on the sub, and I practice on the sub. Really get my, really get it going. If I haven't made it very, very clear uh, so far, based off of the events that are currently unfolding here, I think my goal for the stream is to get the 100 coins here, and the red coins. And that's it. I think that that's all I'm capable of doing this evening. I'm the kind of person who, like, my brain will get stuck on a particular thing and repeat it over and over again, and most of, like, there's a piece of my brain that's focusing on literally not stopping the talkage, um, which some would call a flaw, but I would call a talent. And then the other part of me is just repeating like the same sequence no it was so close that's gonna work github is what you were thinking excellent and thanks for the positivity and answers to your questions tonight i'm gonna hit the hey hen out bye for now so long 69 you are always welcome here don't hit the hay too hard if it's densely packed you're gonna wind up hurting yourself and that's no good sonic says hitting the hay too hard is a hazard Mario also says, don't hit the head too hard, because if you do, you're gonna die! <laughs> don't die. There is some excellent advice from a TikToker out there who is very good at sharing with me the wonders of botanicals and foraging in the woods and stuff. And her thing is, her spiel is, don't die. So that's it. I pass the message on. Don't die. Good luck, have fun, don't die. M Mario. Mario. Thank you, Mario. Thank you very much. Really appreciate you doing that. Oh my god, it worked. Oh, get out of here. Mario, go. Go, 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 go. Speedy time. Get that, get that thing that you do so well. Oh my goodness gracious, that was so excellent. If only you could do it again. Do it, do it, do it. One, a two, no! Is that the person with the curly hair and glasses? Because I see her all the time over TikTok, too. Yes, 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 yes. I believe so. She's always ended with like, oh, to like something in my mind. I'm like, don't die. She's always ended it with don't die. Um, gosh, I wish I remembered her handle. She's awesome. I learned actually how to make uh, Nochino from her. Nochino is a, uh, it's a recipe. It's a, it's a liqueur. It's an, it's an infusion that you can make with black walnuts that I picked up actually at my parents' house. I cut them all up, 
put them into a jar, mix it with a bit of cinnamon, I think lemon zest and stuff, and a little other bit of a process, mix it with Everclear and stuff. It's really good. It's a little dry, but it's got a sweetness to it that's actually quite palatable. It's okay. You know what? I've spent at least an hour on this. I think... I think I'm going to take it easier on myself. I am very much the kind of person who will push myself to the point of frustration, and I wouldn't say that I'm necessarily frustrated, but I feel like I'm missing something here. So I'm going to Google it. Dire Dire Ducks. 100 coins. Let's see it happen. Super Mario 64 wiki. How done do it? How done do it? There are a lot of coins here, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. Video guide. I want to know the red coins. Red coins. Why does 96 coins come up? Pole jumping for eight red coins. 70, 20, 71, 20. Where's the poles, though? Hold up a second. Wait a second. I'm, I'm sorry. What? Why the hell are there poles there? Where's the sub? Oh. 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 I gotta make sure the sub go bye-bye first. I didn't realize that. Welcome back, dearest. I'm a... I made boo-boo. Wow, I made a bigger boo-boo. Incredible. How could he make such a big boo-boo twice in a row? Oh, goodness, don't do that. I noticed a thing in that video that I just watched, and that thing that I noticed in the video that I just watched was that the sub is missing. Bowser's submarine sandwich that's floating there menacingly is missing from the video. And I am aware that the sub leaves after you beat Bowser and he escapes to another part of the castle. Evidently, I was attempting to do speedrun strats and they were not working. So, like the good cop out that I am, I'll take the easy way out. And how the hell are we supposed to get up there, Mario? How the hell are we supposed to do that? I've seen people do it. I've seen people do it. I've seen people do it on their speedruns. Okay, that's not working. All right, well, um, Bowser's in a sea of fire. Then down, down, down in a burning sea of fire. And it burned. Burn, burn, burn. The sea of fire. The sea of fire. Nope, don't do it. I don't want it. You don't want it. I don't. Not like this, at least. Ah! Okay. So evidently, the 69th star is going to be the red coins here in Bowser and the Fire Sea. I wish it could have been otherwise. I wish it could have been different. But I am silly. I'm so sad that we got... I'm, I'm very sorry that we got our hopes up. But alas, I am not... It was not your fault, but mine. It was your heart on the line. Really fucked it up this time. Didn't I, my dear? Didn't I, my dear? I'm sorry, what did you say, dear? What was that? Oh, I know, I know. No, I know, I know. Give me the coin, give me the, give me the coin. I want the coin! No, what are you doing, Mario, why? Didn't I, my dear? Didn't I, my dear? I sung that once in high school as a part of my uh, show choir a cappella group, and um, it wasn't my group. I didn't form it or anything. I was just a member. But 
The rhythms in that are very annoying. Like it's kind of it's kind of offbeat a little bit, but like it's supposed to be that way. Oh, give me that life! I deserve that. After the struggles that I've been through. Something, something. Cameron, you gotta come clean. After all these years. After all this time. For the longest time. Whoa! For the longest time. Whoa! If you say goodbye to me tonight, there will still be music left to buy. Ooh! Ah, what else could I do? I'm so inspired by you. That has it ever for the longest time. No, Mario, stop! What are you doing? Stop that. It's okay. It's okay. There we go. Were you the one drawing pictures on the chalkboard in the Theta Kai basement? Yeah. Yeah, it was me. I actually just noticed I saw on Snapchat the other day, or I think in the, the fraternity chat, that I think the snake is still there. Is it still there? I didn't notice it still was. Yeah, that was me. I was the one drawing on the chalkboard. It is. I have, I have chalk drawing abilities. I draw chalk on my chalkboard every single week. I still haven't put the thing up there this time. Oh, there's one more coin. Where the coin? Where the coins at, though? Where the coin at? Coins at? Coins at? What coins at? Coins at? Coins at? Coins at? Coins at? Coins at? Found the coins at. That crazy mystery's been solved. Has it been a mystery? I know I've told at least one person that I did that. Um, although yeah, I would go down there sometimes when like parties weren't happening and like prepare for the stuff. I really, really enjoyed going down there and drawing, like, themed things on the chalkboard. Actually, I want to say, if the snake with the, um, the skull is still up there, uh, the rattlesnake, then I'm pretty sure I did that before one of the Halloween parties. Because I was like, we need something on that chalkboard. Um, they were, like, sick murals. Dude, I was happy to do that. That was the first time that I realized that if I got my hand on a big enough chalkboard, that sky's the limit. It was great. I was always so sad that nobody ever, nobody ever asked for my help with the Greek, Greek murals. When Greek Week happens this year, somebody hit me up. I will paint that whole damn mural and it's gonna look fucking beautiful. Will happen. Theta Kai will never have a really awkward looking stepbrothers mural ever again. Not to say that it was awkward. It was us giving it our best effort at the time with the resources that were made available or that were known. So. LMAO, because no one knew. No one knew? Nobody did? Oh my god, that was totally me. That's me. I'm a, I'm a closet artist. Pestering me again, Mew Mario. Can't wait to see that I'm having a merry. Can't wait you. Can't. Excuse me. I need to back up for a second. Pestering me again, are you, Mario? Can't you see that I'm having a merry little time making mischief with my minions? Now return those stars. My troops in the walls need them. <laughs> no, please, Mario, don't. Anything but that, sir. Don't jump my uglies like that. What's the punch button? This is the punch button. Oh, gosh damn diddly! LMAO, nobody knew. Hey, yo, 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 whoa, 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 Don't you do it. You got it. Ring around the rosy. Pocket full of posy. Ashes, ashes. Fall down, fall down? Yeah, do that. No sh- You freaking turtle monster, you. Okay, I don't- I don't like that happening. Hello! You can't touch me! Can't touch me when I use my- Oh, get him. Oh, get him. Oh, oh, get him. Ooh, kill 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 him. Oh, he killed him. That bitch is dead. Woohoo! Look at me jump. Let me jump. Let me jump. Why? Ooh, Can I be that I lost? The power of the stars have failed me. This time. Consider this a draw. Next time, I'll be in perfect condition. Now, if you want to see your precious princess, come to the top of the tower. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Ouch. First try, baby. I can't do that fancy snap thing, unfortunately. Here we go. I 
fully intend on getting 100 coins this time. I am so freaking confident in this. You're not even gonna believe it. I'm just gonna get all the coins right off the bat. And then just like... That's just gonna be it. Because I, I have I have such direction right now. I know exactly what I have to do. And if I'm wrong... Which I very well might be... Um... I'm gonna go back to the drawing board. Give me the coins, give me the coins, give me the coins, give me the coins. Dude, I feel completely reinvigorated. All I needed is like, again, again, very dense person here. Sometimes miss things that are obvious or that I probably should have thought of with additional context or um, perhaps just sucking it up and looking up a walkthrough. Um, but it happens. And oftentimes that means we, quote unquote, waste a lot of time. It's not a waste of time though. I'm having a great time. And hopefully you are too. And if you're not, I'm always open to feedback, to be perfectly honest. I, I take criticism very well. No! Mario, no! And so, we charge back into the translucent, wibbly-wobbly wall over here with newfound vigor. With a V. I don't like that word. I don't like using that word. Vim and vigor. It just feels weird. I also don't like the fact that the measuring thing at my bar is called a jigger. Not a fan of that. Just not a fan. Anyways, get it, get it, get it, get it, plumber. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Use the tide to your advantage. Use the tide to your advantage. Use the tide to your advantage. Oh, baby. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Nice job, Mario. You got it. Nice job, bud. Excellent execution there, pal. Let's see, can we do it again? No, 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 Let yourself be drawn in. Let the hatred consume you, Anakin. Or Luke? I don't know. Let the hatred flow through you. Do it. Do it. I say. You've got extra. You've got extra beef and stew. You've got extra beef and broth and stuff. Let's do it. However, however that video goes. I was attempting to do that red coins thing speed strat style. And I blew it. Can you like Mario? Mario. Oh, I am just far away from that coin. Did I miss any coins over there? I don't know. If I need to, I'll go I'll be back. Oh come on. Mm. Time for some more soothing kazoo melodies. the polls would be here didn't I my dear imagine being a first timer to this stream right now to be fair I'm trying to be more honest about the antics that occur over here it's tagged as follow for party hats so you may be inclined to think that if you drop a follow I'll put on a party hat and it does say ask me about my kazoo so I think I'm being perfectly clear about the antics that I get into I would also tag myself as Mixologist, but after running too many times into streams that are tagged as cocktails and there not be a single cocktail in sight, I've been a little scarred by that, so I don't like it. I'm trying to find more cocktail streamers. If you know a person who streams content cocktails, please send them my way. I would like to make contact with them. Damn fair, honest antics, wholesome shenanigans. It's true. It's true. And if it ever gets to be too much, please, please, we are open to feedback around here. I think one of the things that I'm dealing with right now is I'm running into some- I'm, I'm doing some audio adjustments because what I'm trying to do, um, for the sake of full disclosure, because I like the- I like this stuff and it's fun, I'm trying to make more short-form content. And what I mean by that is things like TikToks and YouTube Shorts and stuff like that as a means to really get those cocktail recipes out there. I love the idea of sharing the recipes with others, and to be perfectly honest, I'm not super good at distributing them in such a way that I feel really gets it out there. 
So I'm trying to I'm trying to explore like some editing techniques and whatnot to make that a little easier for myself, like taking pieces of my stream and actually performing that into content and doing a little bit of editing, which I've always wanted to do before. It's gonna be a new skill um, as I as I play around with it. The piece of that though is I found, and this is an interesting, if anybody's interested in like OBS stuff or like content editing and stuff like that, I'm also learning as well, and I would love to also have the conversation with you because we're all in this together. Um, and I like to talk about it on the Discord that we have. There's my plug, there's my shameless plug for our Discord. Talk about cocktail recipes and literally whatever we want to. However, I've noticed that the streams that I do, based off of the way that I set up the audio, are actually too quiet. Like when I port them over into my editing software and then put that on like a phone, it's too damn soft. It's so weird, like, and I, what I will do is I will... Oh, get that. Oh, get that. Yeah, boy. What I what I found... Get that. Get that. No! It's fine. What I found is, even in my editing software, I think uh, I use a software called DaVinci Resolve, and I can only increase the gain of a single soundtrack by 10 decibels. And even when I do that, it's still quiet. And I was like, Why? I wonder why that is. So I realized, I started comparing, like, the what I perceive my stream volume is and compared to other streams and YouTube and stuff like that of other channels and stuff, and I realized I'm just really, really quiet. And I remember reading an article a while ago of somebody saying, like, don't be afraid of the red levels on your recording software. Like, don't be afraid of, like, red volume levers. It's, like, it's okay. Like, it's not necessarily something that means it's bad. If your audio is clipping, then you may want to be, you know, you may want to be afraid and you should look into some, like, like a microphone with, like, adjustable gain settings and stuff. However, just because it's loud doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Hypothetically speaking, if it's too loud, that's why people have volume buttons. Like, that's okay. Hypothetically, you could download the VOD to get the same audio as the stream. So what I actually do is I will, I can download the VOD and get the same audio as the stream. It's like, it's weird because when it's played through a browser, and I actually didn't specifically test this, so I could just be talking out of my ass like this. But what I do is I will record at the same time as streaming. I've got a recording session going on right now that's recording on three different tracks. One for music, one for just my voice, and then one combining all together. The one that you guys hear. Um, and I realized, um, where was I going with that? Anyway, yeah, that's what, that's what I do it right now. But I found that now that I, I have, a, I adjusted the volume at the bar scene. I didn't adjust the volume here because I'm not particularly interested in making short for short term form video con game content mostly just the cocktail stuff for now which is only applicable at the bar and so long as my microphone doesn't change um then the settings on those microphones will stay the same so i'm still using um, a usb condenser microphone back there that i don't really like to be honest this one here is a this one that i'm using here on my desk is a high i think a quadcast hyper x something or other it's a really popular mic it's got an adjustable gain setting literally right on it and it's wonderful i think i sound absolutely beautiful to be perfectly fair um and so i keep with that okay i need to collect these and not fall be very very careful don't miss a single one of them thank you so much want me to set you up with a good comment for a short term video sure what do you got what do you got the clips i'm open i'm open for discussion I love the. I, I just really like to talk about this stuff. I, I'll, I'll admit, I don't have enough people in my life to be able to talk content with. I've said it. I'd love to have more people to just like completely geek out about our content with, because I, I I love it. I love it, man. It's so fun. Man, making content is so cool. Uh, it's okay. Take your time. I don't mean to put anyone in the mouth. What's the best joke you've ever heard? Okay, so there's a couple that fall into this category, but the one that first came to mind is the fact that... And I may not be the one who's supposed to be making this joke. However, I will say it nonetheless because I think it's very topical. It is very, very difficult for a woman to get into the postal industry. And the reason that I say that is because it's very clearly a male-dominated industry. Get it? I got it. And I thought that was probably one of the best jokes I have heard in a while. There's probably more, but to be perfectly honest, I don't think they're very good jokes. I think they're just really, really offensive jokes. That's going to the front page of TikTok. See, there you go. But it's not. The problem is I stole that joke from somebody else, and I feel okay. Well. Well, you know, I was gonna say I stole that confidence. That's not my joke. 
I cannot, I cannot give that, I cannot take credit for that joke. But to be perfectly honest, for, for a while too, I felt bad about like posting my, the cocktails that I make online because not all of them were my recipes either. And I felt really weird about that. Um, but so long as you give credit where credit is due, I think there's no problem there. I would certainly not feel comfortable posting that as my own content. Although I guess this is just kind of the proliferation of how jokes work. Like everybody's stealing their jokes. Everybody is. Everybody is. It totally is. But yeah, I'm gonna play around with the cocktail content for a little while longer. At least if I can get a handle on it, like for example, what I'm, the skill that I'm fostering with this, with what I'm doing right now is the fact that if I can take my cocktail streams and edit them into minute long videos focusing on cocktails, I will eventually have the same skills it takes to be able to do the same thing for the other streams as well. So we're at a starting point in that process. And if I can figure out a process that works, I will happily share it with other people, if anybody were to ask, and, um, we'll see what we can get out of it. Most importantly, if I were gonna do anything like that, it'd be really cool if I can, like, showcase the content of, like, not just what happens here, but, like, well, I guess what happens here, but, like, what other people do as well. Although, I don't, I don't really know how to best facilitate that. Again, open questions. Mario, you son of a bitch! Nah, that's on me. I'm just projecting again. I'm sorry. That's another mark for the curse jar, I guess. I don't know. How would I implement a curse jar? I'm not. I'm. I'm seriously considering this. How would we best implement a jar for cursage? Oh, you know what? It could be like a like a a thing done in like like JavaScript or whatever. Or I don't even know how that stuff works. Where you like you um, where like it generates a jar. And depending on the number represented of that jar, like, drop something into that jar, like, on stream. I'm open to that idea. I don't know how I'd do that. I like that idea, though. I'm gonna write that down after I fall into the water again. Well, if I remember. Hopefully I do. Alright, well, it's, take, it's still taking me just as long as it did previously. Mario, why? I should be going over there. I should, I should be going to the other ones. Ugh. Mario. Mario, 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 Mario. Why Mario? Why? I'm taking a drink. Oh, don't miss the opportunity to jump, my guy. Jump, man, jump. That's what you do. You're taking the shortcut way. I regret it. I took the shortcut way. I have 83 coins. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I took the loser way out, but it's gonna happen. Nah, just kidding. I'm not a loser. I'm just a normal person. I'm just your average everyday Joe. If your average everyday Joe was named Cameron. And to be fair, I don't know any other Camerons who, for the purposes of exposure on the internet and for other reasons more or less arbitrary, spell their name with a silent X. That's just... That's esoteric. That's esoteric as fuck. Maybe. I don't really know. Alright. Make the jump. Make the jump. Alright. Excellent. 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 Make the jump! Make the jump! Woo! Yeah! Oh yeah, baby! We got it! We did it! We did it! We did it! I need more coins. Where do you get the coins at? There must be more coins. I dive back into the water for more coins. Where are the other coins? I must find you coins. Did I miss some in like the first area? I might have. I know there were no coins in those clams. Bars. But well, maybe there's coins down here. Coins? Coins, coins, coins. Can I go through there? Oh, oh, coin! Coin, 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 coin. Give me the coins. Give me the coins. Give me the coins. No, why are you? No, 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 Here we go again. I feel the same as we again. I wanna run and hide. I wanna run and hide. Do it every time. You're killing me now. And now this is inside from you. The animal inside of you. Oh. 
don't know where I was going with that. I want some more. Whoa, oh, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Send me back to the castle moat. <sighs> it's okay. Just calm down a little bit. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll just... Technically speaking, I'm not insane at all. I'm not. I'm not. Because... Oh, look! Coins! I'm not insane. Things have been changing. Hey! That's hey with five Ys, meaning that I'm catching a little bit of sexual intent from that comment. I don't know if you meant it that way, but be aware. Those Ys have consequences. Anyway, so, so how, how's it going, Dom? <laughs> um, I've been doing the same shit for the past... <laughs> almost two hours? <laughs> oh, and I love it! I love it, I love it, I love it. I love it. It's okay. It's grand stuff. Should I have made it six? To be honest? I don't know what the rules are. I don't really know what the rules are otherwise. I saw like a post on iFunny about it like a while ago, and don't don't get me wrong. I shouldn't be trusting the giving the internet um that much of my trust. But look. Nonetheless. Oh, and one fell swoop. That was beautiful. Mario, I gotta say, that was not your doing at all. That was all me. Then why did you quote rules you don't fully know? I am not a reputable source on the internet. That's why. I'm just an internet denizen. Don't take anything I say literally. If you do, you might be leading yourself down the wrong path. I would say that you can trust me, but that's what every quote-unquote nice guy says on the internet. And don't worry, you can trust me. He says on the internet. Dude, iFunny is either the best or complete worst app. I, I used iFunny for so long because I... But, but eventually, I, I used iFunny for a very, very long time. And then, instead, I realized that I wasn't getting the funnies where they were coming from. I really wanted to get all the funnies from the source, which at the time I thought was Reddit. So I went to Reddit and started going through Reddit stuff and made a Reddit account and followed all these like funny subreddits uh, and stuff um, because I wanted to be I wanted to be where the content was being created. Which, to be fair, now that I think about it, probably should have been a clue that um, I was going to get into some form of content creation eventually at some point in my life because um, I made the switch while I was still in like very early college. However, over time I realized the content. It ain't really coming from ain't really coming from Reddit anymore. It's coming from like it's coming from like TikTok and stuff. So that's when I made a TikTok, and then I deleted my TikTok and was like, this is really stupid. I hate everything that's on this app. And then the algorithm. I came back and the algorithm got to know me, and now I enjoy the app. But then I realize then I realize I'm like I actually don't really want to be on TikTok. I'd rather be on YouTube Shorts because I think it scratches the same itch. I just need to get the algorithm to cater to what I want. And there's a lot of cocktail stuff on YouTube Shorts right now for me, so I'm happy with that. And eventually I want to move away from TikTok. But I don't yet know how to not utilize it. So, I'm gonna stick with the advice for now. It's just super hateful now. iFunny? Or Reddit? Oh, iFunny, I guess now. That, that's really unfortunate. Oh. Man, that kind of sucks. Okay, I'm gonna get this... I'm gonna get these coins. Hopefully... First try. Hopefully, first try. Hit it! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! 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 That's unfortunate. Oh my god! No! Mario, why? Mario, why? Mario, why? It's okay. I was. It, this was bound to happen. It's okay. This was bound to happen. I'm just practicing for next time. YouTube Shorts give me like. Give like eight Andrew Tate videos in a row saying the dumbest shit, and then TikTok is a mess of shit. I agree with that. I get like, I keep liking this one dude's cocktail videos, and like, it just sends me like three or four of them in a row. And to be fair, I do watch them. So, I guess it's working. Whatever YouTube is trying to do is most definitely working on me. But like, yeah, to your point, like, there's so much, I feel like at least on TikTok, I am doing so much swiping before I find something that I, I'm actually enjoying. And like, I will find like, a piece of gold, a nugget of gold. And then I'll close out the app because that nugget of gold reminds me that I just like sifted through a ton of, a ton of like really annoying shit and stuff to get to that point and I realize it's just not worth it. All I use YouTube for, says Dom, is Attack on Titan and Elden Ring videos. I guess all I use YouTube for is cocktail videos. 
And like, I have some friends who post on YouTube as well, so I try to watch them as well. But like, I'm really trying to, I really trying to lean into the YouTube shorts because I want to understand like a nice, a nice form of like content for that. Because like, I'd like to make some shorts and optimize where my workflow to be able to do so. However, really haven't figured that out yet. Um, it's a process. My excuse for using YouTube and his, their shorts um, is is content question mark. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good enough excuse, to be fair. Get down on the coins, Mario. You gotta want the coins if you gonna be rich. Or collect power stars. Power stars. Um, let's hope I don't fail again this time. Perhaps the perhaps the technique for getting those um those two coins or those uh, that other set of coins and whatnot is not to approach it from the top. If I approach it from the top, I am doomed to fail and get sucked in. But if I approach from the bottom and very carefully collect those coins and swim away, I think we'll be okay. I think we're gonna be all right. As a famous fish once said, every little thing gonna be all right. Don't worry about a thing. Now I'm pretty sure a human said it first, but I've definitely seen a fish. Plastic one on the wall, animatronic, say that as well. And so I pass this, this is my message to you. This is my message to you. I don't know what the rest of the lyrics of that song is. Hmm. I remember. Domstar has discovered that if he plugs a controller into his phone, he can use it to play the Game Boy games that he downloaded yesterday. Ooh, discovery. I feel like I knew that at some point. I feel like I definitely plugged... Um, well, actually, actually, I know I did discover once upon a time that you can actually plug microphones into your phone and use them as phone microphones, and I thought for a while that was going to be the way to, like, record mobile content. I, I don't, I didn't like it. It really didn't work. It was like, the editing was abysmal, because like, you didn't get any, like, proper editing, like, chances. It's kind of annoying. Okay, careful, Mario. Okay, if I... No, 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 Mario, no, 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 okay. How many coins did I have when I collected all of the red ones? Do I need to go for those coins? I can just go for the less risky ones. I think, I think it's better for me to get all the easy coins and then go for the risky ones. I'm risking it for the biscuit? I don't know if it was worth it. Like, it makes sense, says Dom, but it just feels like it won't work, and then it does. Yeah, I feel that. I definitely didn't think that it was going to work the first time. I, I also did the same thing with my headphones, because they have a little dongle that you plug into the computer, and I was like, can I use my headphones and plug them into my phone and, like, listen to stuff? And the answer is yes. It totally works. And for a while, I would plug the dongle into my phone and use headphones to listen to music in my car, and then somebody told me that's very illegal. So I stopped doing it. <laughs> Note to the world, apparently, it is very illegal to drive a car with headphones on. Not like earbuds and stuff. Headphones. Or make, maybe earbuds are, like, illegal too. I don't know. I utilize earbuds when I'm driving. No. If a cop is gonna pull me over and get me for my earbuds, then... Alright, whatever. I guess I deserved it. At least it wasn't a speeding ticket. Get it. Get it, Maria. Oh, don't hit the shark. Don't hit the sharky boy. Don't hit the shark. Sharks are dangerous, Mario. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that, Mario. Take it from your brother, Luigi. But we don't want to do that, Mario. That's not really a good Luigi impression. Not into it. I don't feel it. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why bother? Pretty sure they, they aren't, because most people use AirPods to talk on the phone these days. That's true. That is absolutely true. They can't get me for my... They can't get me for my Samsung Galaxy 2 Buds if they ain't getting the folks for their Apple Pods. Apple Pods? AirPods? 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 AirPods. 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 Air
not. That'd be sad. That'd be a inconsistent. And everybody knows that the American judicial system is consistent. Not. Not from what I've seen, at least. Not in my personal experiences. Also, if the argument is you need to be able to hear for emergency vehicle, deaf people can still... It's true. <laughs> That's a good point. I definitely want to get into the argument with this cop and be like, What if I was deaf? Uh, and, and, and honestly, I would... Honestly, I... I would ask that very inquisitively, and hopefully very respectively. I'd be like, you know, officer, now that you've pulled me over for this, I actually have an honest question for you. What if I was deaf? And I don't mean that sarcastically, I mean that legitimately. If I was deaf, would you pull me over because I can't hear the emergency vehicles? I don't know. I don't know. I wonder. Also, also, also always reminds me of salsa the word I mean. AirPods have an option for the hearing impaired. Dude, like, yeah. Well, I like to use my, uh, I like to use my, my Galaxy Buds with the ambient sound mode. I think it's a really, really useful feature. It's, it's wonderful. It, uh, it does so well. Alright, let's do the dangerous thing first. Dangerous thing first. Dangerous thing first. Dangerous thing first. If I get this close, and then completely turn the other direction, can I escape the pull? Can I escape the pole if I swim downward? If I swim downward? If I swim down? If I swim down? No, 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 no. Downward, 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 downward. Oh my god, you got it, Mario, you got it. Oh my god, you got this, Mario. Oh my god, you got it. Holy shit, we got it! Mario, no, go down! Oh my god, dude! Dude, dude, you did it! Nice job, Mario. You got it. Oh, you escaped the tide. Did you escape the tide? Can we escape the tide? Can we escape the tide? There, there is. There must be a way. There must be a way to escape the tide. Oh my god. No. Don't tell me I've been trapped. Oh my god. Oh! I was so afraid for a moment. I was so afraid. Domstar says there was this dude who was pulled over for having a sticker on the back of his car saying, I eat ass, and the cop pulled him over and took him to jail for not taking his sticker up. That's the most ridiculous thing, right? If a sticker, and I've actually thought about this more, if a sticker is illegal and a cop can pull you over and arrest you for a sticker, right? Why are we selling stickers? If 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 a car dealership can give you one of those vanity like license plate borders and somebody can pull you over for that and give you a ticket Why do we have them? Probably because they look cool and people are gonna buy them anyway, but seriously, that's my question Why would you give a parking pass that goes onto your rearview mirror? If apparently the little danglies from your rearview mirror are also illegal like I don't understand. I don't get it. People have gotten, like, pulled my mother over for a rosary that hangs from her mirror, which I think is the most dickish move, like, you've ever seen. Like, why would you do that? I don't understand. I just, I don't understand. If somebody, honestly, if somebody got me for that, my response would be, like, I really don't appreciate this, but, like, at the very least, I guess you didn't give me a ticket, and I can be okay with that. Like, I feel like, I don't, I'm not really rude, but, like, I would definitely be a smartass and be like, I like, I don't understand. I'd also want to know too. I'm also a very inquisitive person, and hopefully it doesn't get taken for like another punishable offense. But I'd legitimately ask, like, I would like to know, like, like, pull up the law or something that says like I can't do that. Like, I'd like to know what it is. And maybe it's like a little too expectant for me to realize that like, like to think that like, let's say an officer will be able to actually recall that, because that's a little expectant. I don't think it's realistic like that they know everything off the top of their head. But like, if you're pulling people over for it, I feel like you gotta have like some sort of like justification for it. In the sense that like you should be, like if you're pulling people over for it, you should be able to quote like, or at least give me an idea where I can find it. Like, cause like, I'm not going around like spreading, let's say, things that I'm calling facts. Unless I know that I can pull up like an article that like corroborates that. I hate it. Apparently dude was given a ticket. Yeah, had his truck impounded too. That's ridiculous. Ha, 69 stars. Oh my god, I was totally aware of that. Come back. All right, so I need those other four red coins are going to give me eight. There are two more coins somewhere. 
There are two more coins somewhere, and I must find them. And I'm not quite ready to grab those red coins yet until I find those other two coins that I am missing. So let's see. I think, is there a exclamation point box around here somewhere? Maybe, maybe. Maybe over here? Near the flamey dude? No. No. There must be more. I'm gonna go on a search. I will find you! I will find those extra coins. They're probably, like, in some, like, corner of the map over here that I just haven't found yet. Because, like, the coins get cold. Oh, look, there you are. There we go. I don't, honestly, on, on, whoa. Dom says, I don't know this game that well, to be honest. That's okay. We have found a way. I have watched this game be played probably, like, like, tw almost 50 times now, I think, with the amount of speedruns that I've watched of it. And I, I still don't know this game very well. I think I'm the kind of person who, like, I can really only learn if I experience it myself. Other than, like, like if I don't have it that way and I don't, like, really, really feel it out and, like, try, try again all on my own, like, I just, I just don't get it. And so, that's what I wanted to do. I was so inspired by it, I was like, you know what? If those folks can do 120 stars in basically less than an hour, I can do it. Um, in a, in a collection of stream speedthroughs. Finally. Um, I'm gonna get this next star. I'm gonna get the red coin star, and I am so done for the night. <laughs> You've found 70 power stars. The mystery of the endless stairs is solved thanks to you. And is Bowser ever upset? Now, on to the final bout, says the internet. <laughs> Got you. I'll come back for that one. Nice. Nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Excellent. Oh my god. Yeah, and then I'll be done. And then I'll be done. I have spent so much effort. I have pretty much only been doing Dire Dire Docs 100 this entire stream, basically. So I'm going to call it a night after this. Um, but it's not that. Actually, I, I would say I'm calling it a night, but I'm not actually technically calling it a night. I'm doing a little bit something more. Shameless plug for our Discord. We like to hang out there. I like to hang out there. And I will openly state that what I'm trying to do after streams, unless I'm like totally exhausted, which can happen sometimes, trying to hang in the Discord a little bit. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to get the star, do it a little ending spiel, and then I'm going to pop in the, the pro, pop, maybe raid somebody. Hopefully, I know some people who I'm following who are online. Um, and I'm going to hang in the Discord for a little bit. Probably do a little, get my editing set up, put a little thumbnail together, maybe, and just hang out. If that kind of thing's your thing, if that kind of thing's your thing, cool. We'll see you there. In any case... So we managed to surpass. I think I can actually title this stream. <laughs> I think I can actually title it "Finally Surpassing 69 Stars" because that's what we did today. Agonizingly, we've surpassed 69 stars, and I'm so happy that we did. Finally, that's all for me. I'm not pushing myself anymore. I know when my I know when I've hit my limits. <laughs> that's all, folks. That's all I've got for you. Um, just a quick reminder for everybody. Um, I've changed up the schedule just a little bit. Instead of being back next Monday, I am not going to be back next Monday. I am focusing on content, community, and other things every other Monday now. So instead, what I'll do is I will be hanging in the Discord server, probably, unless I'm actually not available, which my Mondays are pretty much booked anyway. And we'll just be chatting about stuff. I'll probably just be working on editing stuff, maybe doing some cocktail research and whatnot. Not really sure. Depends on what are the needs of the week are. And then I'll be back again on Wednesday with some cocktail streams. Actually, cool thing too, next week on Wednesday, I've got some friends coming up for the cocktail stream. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll tease it. I'll tease it in the Discord server for those who are in the subset. By the way, for those who actually have a subscription, I can't believe I continue to forget to mention this. If you have a subscription, and you have your Discord hooked up to your Twitch, there is a super secret channel that exists on the Discord where we all kind of pal around. I like to share a lot of behind the scenes stuff and teasers for things that are up and coming and in the works. Just putting that out there, absolutely no incentive otherwise. If you ask me what we're doing, I will just openly state it to you. But if that's your kind of thing and you feel like popping the support, I greatly appreciate it. All of it goes to like ingredients and stream stuff and whatnot. That's just how it is, and that's my little spiel. Dom also said, what comes after 69? If you said mouthwash, you're a funny person. If you said 70, you're a realist. What does come after 69? Hopefully no regret. Don't live your life in regret, everybody. Get out there and do what you want to do. And as you do that, we hope to see you next time. 
I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. If the moon is shining out there, if the mon if the sun's shining, it must mean it's the morning. Happy afternoon, happy dawn, happy twilight. I don't care. Time zones, time zones, whatever. Till next time, y'all.